Morning. So it's today's active recovery. It's now 6.30. That was hard. I wanted to obviously, you know that I normally run on a Thursday, but it's actually about minus four outside. And I'm not going out skating at the same time I'm trying to run. So just chucked in a 30 minute conditioning piece. Why not? Why not on New Year's Eve? Oh, I just realized what you've got to look at. Oh. Mm. Also, these bad boys. I've been testing these out for the last week or two for my training. The kind guys over at Innovate sent them to me and JC. The latest addition to the family. I've never worn Innovates before. These are very comfortable. It's really quite exciting actually. I haven't been in the CrossFit world or seen for a long while now. It seems to have just been Nike or Reebok. Kind of like the main players for a long time. It's nice to see other people getting involved and getting some good trainers out. These, very, very comfortable. My feet move around a little bit in the toe edge, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like for things like um, burpee over box or fast rotational stuff. But generally at the moment, really, really impressed. And also as well, one thing that I find quite hard with a lot of CrossFit trainers, I wouldn't want to go for a run in them because the soles are quite flat and quite hard. These, I'm interested. I want to go for a run, just a short one, just to see what they're like. So well done, Innovate. What I'll do is I'll drop a link below if you want to check them out yourself. Something that all parents out there will be able to relate to. I had the little one today. Uh, the morning gets away from you quite quickly, especially with, at the moment, obviously me and my wife, we both run our own companies. And with the COVID lockdowns and stuff, we don't really have any help that we, we don't really like to lean on our family too much for help with Jax. So I work in the morning, Carly has Jax, and then I, and then Carly works in the afternoon, I have Jax. Then on the following day we switch, so I do the morning with Jax and then Carly does the afternoon. Because we're playing with light as well in the UK, it gets really dark really early and it gets light at around half nine ten so the morning has got away from me a little bit sorry i did my workout just to give you keep you up to speed did my workout then i went up and have a breakfast four slices of toast four four scrambled eggs obviously my usual supplements and what else did i have protein shake and that's it got jaxie ready she's currently in the back just necking a bottle of milk um and having a bar and then we just got out of the house because we are going to go on a little adventure today give me two seconds Oh yeah. After eight mint hot chocolate, I'm telling you, that's where it's at. So you currently join me and Jax in participating in a pastime that I've been doing a lot this year. Um, and I will honestly encourage absolutely every single one of you to do this at some point, whether it be in your day. A lot of people can't justify it in their day, but over their week to begin with, right? It's something I've found super important. And I've now actually quite recently started involving Jacks in it as well. It sounds really silly. Strap yourselves in. It's really big. Um, at some point in my day, when I get out of the house, I find somewhere to just stop. And, and sit right right now you join me it's not glamorous i'm in a car park right i'm at the back of the car park the busy section is out the way it's kind of weird i kind of like seeing it where it's really busy everywhere and i'm just kind of chilled but i'll find a point in the day where like, i'll get myself a nice little treat i've got my mint hot chocolate and i'll just sit with no music no nothing just relax like a pure 15 20 minutes of indulgence time Sometimes a load of thoughts come into my head and I start to process the day a little bit more. Sometimes I feel really creative when I leave this space. And sometimes I just feel really grateful for having that moment where I've just gone. And the only thing that I have realized is that it has to be outside of the house. If I'm in the house, it has too many responsibilities and distractions tied to it. You know, when I physically, I've driven five, 10 minutes down the road, I've physically brought myself to this space to just stop. And there's no, there's nothing that has to come from it. There's no agenda, just stop. And there's so many people that will, will watch this video and say, well, it's easy for you to do. I can't do that. And that was me six months ago. Trust me, it was me. The only time I would chill is like I'd go and play Call of Duty with the boys or I would play the guitar. Again, there's something attached to it and I'm in my household space. But that's why I say start with it. If you can't do it daily, do it weekly. Find a point in your week where you just literally go and stop. Honestly, I come here. This little one will have a little snack. She's really happy. I'll have my hot chocolate. I'm really happy. And I just feel... Like sometimes if you if you gauge your mood out of 10, right, your stress levels throughout the day, when you're balancing parenthood with your career, with your ego, 
ego as well with everything at the same time. I find that scale it, balance is really important. I find myself generally, I work pretty well around a seven or eight out of 10. That might be quite high for a lot of people, but if I'm any lower than that, I get quite lazy and a little bit, my, my brain feels a little bit foggy and, and gloopy, a bit slow. Any higher than that, and I find myself getting a bit frantic, like I've necked a load of caffeine. Can you, you, you know what I mean? If you've had a lot of caffeine and you can't really focus on anything. And this has become really powerful in those days where I'm pushing towards an eight or a nine, but in order to get my day functioning effectively, I need to be around a six or a seven, right? So I can take myself, I can be halfway through my day trying to complete so many different tasks. And I'm like, now nah, fuck it, I'm going. And I'll get out of the house and I'll get my little hot chocolate or whatever I decide to have. And I'll go and sit somewhere and relax. And then I bring it back down. It's all about bringing it back down. Even if you bring it down one notch, that 10, 15 minutes that you might see as wasted time right now will end up adding so much productivity in the time that you take back. Because the thing is, is that you take yourself away for 15, 20 minutes and you go back with a clear mind and you're ready to hit it for the next few hours. But if you stay in that space sometimes, just wading through porridge, getting frustrated with yourself, I feel like it can end up being even worse. So yeah. Take some time out, kids. Oh yeah, one way in which I found this extremely powerful this year, you may or may not know, I've written my own book, which is crazy. You know, obviously a lot's, a lot's gone on this year. There's been a lot of development, which is great. But I've written my own book, which is um, which started off as basically a project to start writing every day because I'm a little bit dyslexic. Um, my words, sometimes I write how I speak, which doesn't necessarily read well on a page. So I've always avoided writing as much as I possibly can. Over the last year, we've been sending free emails um, weekly so it gives me that conversational process of being able to write a little bit more and then I decided to write a book and I was like so many people have this fear attached to writing something without having a major point and first of all I discovered there was a point um, I wanted to create something that was a bit like a, a, a biography about my whole life you know there's a lot of my life that people don't know about from when I was younger and even writing it it felt quite raw um, but quite a stunning experience as well. And especially now that I've got a really good friend of mine proofreading it for me, I feel really anxious. Like, oh my God, someone else is reading what I was like when I was five, six years old and, and all that sort of stuff. So it's like a biography in some ways, but then at a certain point in my life, obviously personal training and YouTube and everything like that and the business side of things came in. And it's, I've, I've ended up creating almost a bit like a bit of a toolkit for anybody who is a personal trainer or aspiring personal trainer or business person who wants to be able to progress in their career. Basically a step-by-step -step guide of how I did it. Obviously, with JC involved in there as well, this is my, from my perspective. So obviously, everybody knows that with the YouTube stuff, me and John have been business partners for the last 10 years. But this is more like my personal journey within that and before it. Um, yeah, and I got to the point where I was just like, I'm really proud of it. Now I'm protective of it as well, which is the, the hard part. But I'm going to let it go. Probably... February, I reckon I'm going to tentatively say that it'll be available in February. But from writing that, the amount of time that I would literally be halfway through a paragraph, I'm like, right, I need to get out of the house. But yeah, there you go. All, all of that comes from just doing nothing. Hmm. Should we go to the park? Yeah. What was that? You want to go to the park? Yeah. And go on the swing? Yeah. Okay, cool. Do you want to go on the seesaw? Yeah, mummy, daddy. Yeah. Okay, cool. Should we go? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like we're now going to the park. And we're going to go on the seesaw and we're going to go on the swing. <laughs> Loving life. You going to go on the swing, sweetie? Yeah. <laughs> Off to the swing. She's in a happy place. So I got home 10 minutes ago with a very tired little Jack. She was playing on the park for ages. We had a little picnic. Now she has gone down for her nap and my shift, as it were, has essentially finished with Jack. So now she'll sleep for about an hour and a half, two hours. She's obviously at that age where she's only having one nap a day. Me and Carly will continue to crack on, get our stuff done. And then into the afternoon, I will be free as a bird to finish my work bits and pieces. Might even go in 1RM clean. We'll see. Legs feel a little bit like jelly, but we'll give it a bash. Let's see if we can hit 130 today, shall we? Ooh. Oh, he's called it. He has called it.
Right, lunch time, very simple. 300 odd grams of mashed potato, about 100 grams of peas in there, 150 grams of chicken which I just grilled. And I'm gonna watch a little bit of J-God while I eat it. And then, let this go down, and then we'll go clean, shall we? So I nearly lost it forward. Uh, first time I knew it was in a good position, but it slipped forward and then on the second one, my second part of my pull, I lean a little bit so I forget to engage the lats. So I knew it was gonna be a little bit of a chase, but oh, I'm so bloody happy. That's literally five kilos off my lifetime best clean, which was a 135. But when I hit the 135, I was, I'm now 78 kilos. I was 86 and a half kilos. So I don't really worry too much about body weight, but more than anything, it's that confidence to lift more, a lot more than your body weight at such a light weight. It feels really weird because technically I'm not the strongest cleaner in the world. There's no two ways about it. I'm not technically the best. But there's something about when you squat, deadlift, clean or snatch, when you're heavier, everything just feels that little bit easier. And I've been questioning myself, I've hit 25, 125 so many times this year, 126, and then every time I've gone for 130, as soon as I've pulled it, I've just felt weak. So today I was just so much hype. I am absolutely jacked off that. <laughs> People, last thing I've got to do before the evening, as in, I'm gonna chill with the wife tonight, it's New Year's Eve. I've got to walk this guy. I just want to say a massive thank you so much for watching. If you've got to this point, as always in the vlog, your support is, is wonderful. We really appreciate it. We're heading into another year, starting with lockdowns, but fuck it, we don't care. We will keep on grinding. Hopefully you're enjoying the vlog. If you did, give it a like and a comment. Let me know what you want to see below. Keep it clean, or relatively clean. Keep being awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.